Dr. Tom Samuelo and on my channel we discuss organizational training and tactical aspects of the game called Futsal. Let's go! Okay, so in this video we continue to discuss my decision-making process of what to do when you don't have a team and you want to train, right? And you, you don't know how to do it, what is the best way to do it and so on and so on and so on. So I, in the previous video, uh, in the previous video, I told you that I have like several options: to do nothing, to play as a player, to coach the team that is already created, and concentrate on the coaching job and man not managing job. Uh, and another option was uh, to start the team from the scratch, right? When you don't have nothing. So I am thinking to choose this fourth option where you have no team, no players, no uh, name, no place to train, no money, no nothing, right? And you want to train. You clearly know that this is what you would like to do, this is what is interesting for you, right? And I clearly know uh, for this couple of weeks, I thought a lot of uh, other options, and uh, I think that my uh, main idea right now, main goal is to coach, right? Because I like it and uh, I'm always gathering a lot of information, I like to read about it, I like to see examples, right? I like to try some things, some stuff, some tactics and training. What is the first thing that uh, I have to deal with, right? If I want to start a team from the scratch. First thing to start with is to think about where you're gonna train. Because if you don't have a place to train in a normal time, also, which is very important, there's, it's, it's not gonna be any team, right? It's not gonna be any training when you don't have a place to train, right? If you have a place to train and like three or four players, you can already be training, right? But if you have three or four players, or even, even 15 players, and you don't have no training hall, it's not possible to train, right? So this is an essential thing. This is very important to start with this. In the previous teams, I faced a lot of uh, situations when you don't have a good time, good hall to train. Uh, whether this hall is small, right? Or it is very big or long, for example, which is not that good. Uh, or the quality of the dressing room is very, very bad, right? The, the hall is very old and so on and so on. Or, for example, the pricing is very high and it's not comparable with the quality of the hall that you get, right? I also faced the problem with time, right? I don't want to start training sessions at like uh, 9.30 p.m., right? Or 10 p.m., which is which is for me this is the maximum time when you can start a training session 9.30 p.m. players are already tired, you have to start early so that's why I uh, came up with an idea that this time I'm gonna find a place uh, and I'm gonna concentrate on the time and on the quality of the beat right? of the training court pricing right, is gonna come second I wanna plan my time right now better I don't wanna get home late, you know, uh, very tired and so on and so on. I want to have a normal training. Time. So, first of all, I'm thinking that I have to uh, try all the schools that I have here in my local place, here in my local town. We also have like professional training halls for futsal, for basketball, for handball and so on and so on and so on. But the pricing is usually higher there. So what I have to do is I have to grab the list of all the schools that we have in our town all those holes that we have in our town. I also talked to my friends who are playing already to give me some contacts, some information. After this, if I uh, manage to find some seven or ten places uh, where the time is at least available, right? Uh, then I'm going to choose the best time, the best time that I need. For me, the best time to start a training session is 8 or 8.30 p.m. Right? for a two-hour training session. For me, it's always two-hour training session. I don't like hour and a half. It's 90 minutes. I don't think it's effective. Right? And, and I want to have at least two trainings a week. This is where, what I'm going to start with. 
because uh, if I train three or four times a week, I maybe won't have a lot of time to do this, right? A lot of free time. And also, when you uh, are talking about the amateur team, and as I'm going to be starting a new team, this is going to be an amateur team. The level of play players probably is not going to be that high. So these guys usually like don't like to train three or four or five times a week, right? And about what has families, jobs, and so on and so on. So these are my priorities now. Two times a week, best time, 8, 8.30 p.m. Uh, and a very qualitative call. So I'm gonna choose the best ones and then I'm gonna end up with one, which is ideal, right? Then my plan is to talk to this place and uh, rent the place during the whole summer. Because what happens during the summer? During the summer, all those guys who rent the place during the year until May, they go out, right, to play outdoor, to play football, or just to rest, and uh, the holes are free. Uh, and what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm planning to do is to talk to the owner of the hole that I will be renting uh, the place through the whole summer, and this is uh, how. Uh, that's why they should guarantee me the time that this time these training days stay on me starting from September and so on and so on and so on right so everybody wins in this situation I win they, I have a warranty that uh, is gonna be I have training whole uh, in September for the whole year and the place the owner of the place will also uh, earn some money during the summer I'm also gonna try and find the time uh, for the training sessions that uh, is not like two consecutive days, for example, Monday, Tuesday. I also want to avoid Fridays because on Friday evenings it's pretty hard to get on people in, in the training session, right? But I'm gonna be concentrating on four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, right? And I want to spread this training process. I want to, I want it to be like Monday, Wednesday or Tuesday, Thursday, for example. This is ideal combination, right? So you get a training, then you have one day rest, and then you have another training in the next day again. So guys, tell me in the commentary section what is uh, your opinion on these ways to do it. How would you do it? Maybe you have uh, some tips for me too, how to improve this uh, searching process of the training hall. Also, don't forget that when you're subscribed to my channel, you get to see more videos. You get uh, to see all new episodes, you won't miss anything, right? So it's important to subscribe. Uh, so tell your friends to subscribe also, I will appreciate that. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.